Hello, hello, it's Letitia. I hope that everyone is doing well. Today I'm winter sewing in a pink lady plastic apple bag from the store. I have my soil here um, that is not pre-moistened. Um, it is recommended that you do that, but you don't have to. I'm not gonna do it today and I'll show you how I do it. Um, but uh, yeah, in this nice large tote, it's very handy dandy and I have a lid that goes on top of it once I'm finished. And let me show you what type of soil I'm using. I am using Pro Mix. So everyone says that that has are like avid winter sowers, you know, very seasoned uh, winter sowers get some really, really great uh, soil so you can have the best results possible. I'm using what I have and um, that's the Pro Mix here. Um, again, pre moistening it is great, but you don't have to. And let me show you how I'm gonna do it. Alrighty, so I'm going to open my bag up. This bag already has holes, um, you know, in it, so I don't need to poke any holes. Um, well, actually, you can. No, no, there's holes in the bottom, but you can poke more if you would like for drainage. It is best that you do that. Um, I'm not going to put a whole, whole bunch of soil in here. Uh, just enough to cover the bottom. I'm gonna try to break up the clumps as much as I can. Okay. If I see any little sticks like that, I usually take them out and toss them. Uh, that little scoop is pretty good. Let me add just a bit more. It's okay if you have to put it in, pour it back out. But I, what I'm trying to do is, um, I know that the soil is going to go down in the bag once I wet it. Um, and then I want to leave some head space for the plants, right? Um, and so, yeah, I'm probably taking out about a handful and a half of what I put in there. Okay. And then I'm going to press it down real good. And so, yeah, about like that. Okay, then we're going to moisten the soil. Ugh, I hate that word. Y'all know I hate the word moist. Ugh, it's so gross. Now I'm going to seed um, the container. I have about uh, three, six, nine, twelve. Yep, about twelve seeds here, and that's usually what I put in um, <clears throat> with tomatoes. I mean, some some winter sowers will tell you not to do more than seven tomato seeds or pepper seeds or eggplant uh, because they get bigger. Um, but I just uh, tomatoes do pretty well for me when I transplant and. Um, all the plants may go through like a little stage of shock and that's okay it's just they're adjusting um but i find like separating tomato plants i don't really have i don't experience that a whole whole lot um and so i'm trying to get the biggest bang out of my book here in this container all the seeds won't germinate either um they may but most of the time they don't so uh, y'all follow uh, along and i will show you the progress of this winter sowing and if it even works really i've never done it before but um I'm, I'm assuming that it will based on um, the basics of winter sowing. You need plastic containers that the sun can get through. You have your drainage holes. Um, you have soil. You've moistened the soil because, uh, and then I'm gonna leave this top open just a bit um, so that rainwater can get through. Um, condensation builds up on, well, this is just for me spraying it. But as long as the condensation is building up on the inside, we have or can get some type of greenhouse effect. Um, I can leave it outside um, all winter or for the rest of the winter um, and then separate the plants once they um, grow. So I'm going to seed this and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I am done sowing. 
uh, this container and so I have about 12 seeds in there and they're spaced out pretty good um, but yeah nothing to it but to do it now I'm gonna lightly cover these seeds with some soil water them in and I'm done Before you close up your containers, make sure that you label. So I do have a little stick in there that says Tiny Tim Tomato. And I've also put numbers on, on mine. Um, you can use duct tape. You can <clears throat> use a Sharpie. I find that paint pens are best. Uh, but use what you have. I marked it in a few places. And so, um, and then I also have my handy dandy notebook where well, I write everything down as well so I will write Tiny Tim Tomato on line 15. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Good to see you all. Hope that you're doing well. Talk to you soon.